Welcome back to the morning show and to Big Updates Television. I am Adana Crumby and we're just about 7.48 a.m. So if you haven't yet dropped the children off and making your way to work, you might be a little bit late. But we still want you to be safe on our nation's roads this morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us even up until now. And we continue conversations this morning. We speak with Mr. Lincoln Stewart. He's known to many by MacGyver. He's a boat owner and a fisherman. And if you remember uh, when Hurricane Beryl swept across the Caribbean islands, he was one of them who went into Karakou uh, to lend support over there and he's in studio with us this morning and we're going to have that conversation. Good morning and good welcome. Morning. Good morning, good morning and good morning to Tobago and by extension all the viewers on Tobago updates this morning. That's right, that's right and so of course it's a feel-good moment yes. to know that we are Caribbean islands, uh, we are our brother's keeper, we are neighbors and you know the incident took place there earlier in July I think it was. Yeah, July the 1st. July the 1st and you know a selfless act and I want to start talking about what is it that caused you to spring into action to say listen I need to do this I want to do this this is something that I have to do for our neighbors up the islands well first of all it's not a I to be quite honest mm -hmm. I mean I might have been at the top of the in leading the team mm -hmm. but this was a whole team effort and where this would have um, sprung from would have been, well, I guess it's more like um, a kind of God-sent activity because I would explain how it happened. Uh, actually, I have some families um, in Palativie, one of them by the name of Ryan, especially Ryan Daniel, better known as Spin. He would have came up and said, boy, you know, this thing happened to the Caribbean people, you know. Um, I wonder what we could do, boy. We could take them boats and go up the islands and whatever the case is. You know, they are at Palativie, I'm at Roxburgh. Mm. So the following day, I think they would have discussed that the Wednesday, the following day, one of my other cousin, he and I, we do boating together. So he came out and I said, boy, you know, I feel I want to do something for them people up the island because, I mean, uh, Karaku is a place that a lot of people might not know. Karaku is home to Tobago. That's right. Because in we doing the trip, a lot of people thought it was dangerous, however, not knowing that it's something that we've been doing for years, using the pirogues to go across there to... Um, help them out with um, racing uh, sailboats, or we're called bomb boats. Every August they would have their regatta, so normally they normally send for contingents of us to come across there to assist them in mm. racing boats. So it's something we are accustomed to. So when he came out there, you know, I was telling her, he said, boy, we just sit down yesterday and we discussed that, so everything just came into play. And we just start right from there. Uh, the hurricane raft took place the Monday. Mm. And from the Thursday, we just put things together and we left the Saturday. And how was it in terms of people coming together outside of the boaters who went, coming together and um, providing items for relief? Uh, how, how, how did that happen? It was overwhelming, mm. if, that's, if, if that's the correct word to use. In terms of the short notice, like I tell you, this thing would have happened Monday. And we're talking about organizing Thursday. And by Saturday, we left mm. and got um, to the boats full on the first trip to go up the to go up the islands. You know what I'm So the Tobago, Tobago on a whole, um, this is where um, uh, Kevin came into place, that's Harvest God, mm -hmm. where we would have reached out to him, seeing that he has this following and whatever the case is, and he was able to muster up as much as he could, and you know, the, the support was there, the support was there. Tobago really came out and showed that the that they cared about what, what, what and you know this is something i love and I'm, we're seeing videos here of you guys going mm -hmm. across there and this is what i love about the tobago spaces mm -hmm. is that um in as much as we have our differences mm -hmm. when there is any type of devastation we come mm -hmm. together yes, as a people that's true, that's true. Uh, not just tobago but people in the caribbean yes, region you yes. find that we come together to yes. lend support and mm -hmm. so you know it's a welcome initiative that took place and mm -hmm. it probably almost came like second nature yes, you know it's something that you just think of well somebody's yeah, in trouble in i have just, i yeah, have the instinct. resources yeah, yeah, yeah. and so let me go and do yeah. this and so you know i want to say congratulations to you mm -hmm. and your team and now we're seeing where the tobago house of assembly has recognized you and mm -hmm. given you an award mm -hmm. for this act of bravery mm -hmm. this act of selflessness as you went across there mm -hmm. how did it feel to know that you were going to be awarded and when you received the award what was it like for you what was in your mind and what were you thinking and feeling at that point in time well to be to be quite honest i was feeling like i don't want to say undeserving or so ungrateful but i was feeling like like it is not me i felt that this was something that I think um, the whole of Tobago should be awarded. My team, the team that, that I may have led, 
should be awarded. And I know that everyone could not have been called up to be to receive the award, so they would just pick, you know, uh, maybe the two, maybe at the top or whatever the case is. But it was a good feeling to see that actually that we took upon ourselves to do something in assisting our neighbors without any uh, incentive. In, yeah, without any incentive, and we would have been able to execute it, you know, twice actually, right? And it was a good feeling to see that at least, you know, the assembly will recognize us for what we did. And yeah. So you received good... this award on behalf of yourself and your team. And my team, yes. Uh, absolutely amazing stuff. And what have you been up to since then? You know, what is your, what are you and your team doing in terms of well, other relief programs or just, you know, your daily operations? Well, well, uh, uh, well, it's back to normal. Um, Boating, I mean, um, right now is a sort of a, to be quite honest, a sort of a sad times the couple, last couple of weeks because one of the major vessels that we'd have used to take the stuff across there, one of the biggest boats was stolen in Bell Garden mm -hmm. two weeks ago. So, you know, it's been a kind of tough time for us in terms of trying to get information as to where the boat is and this kind of thing. Not, not so far, we haven't received any information pertaining to the boat. So, you know, it's been kind of Rough, but we've been here because we were even um, contemplating going back to Karaku to lend aid in terms of um, right now they're in the process now where they're rebuilding, mm -hmm. cleaning, getting the place back up to scratch. And we were thinking about making a trip across, you know, with some guys to help, mm -hmm. you know, do some more physical work and this kind of thing. But then seeing the um, incident with the boat, that would have just threw off the whole the whole setting so you know i do hope that you are able to recover uh the vessel or you know and that you are able to make that trip because i can mm -hmm. feel the sincerity mm -hmm. um where you are considered i'm sure your team is um very yes. sincere as well yes. in trying to lend that type of help because can you imagine if it was us yeah. we would want the help we would want the support yes. and i and so i'm mm -hmm. sure that that's the place it's coming from just yes. knowing what it is to not have yes. you know and just giving to those who those, are yes, in yes, need yes, yes. so i wish you all the very best as you Thank continue you um doing what mm -hmm. you're doing and we're very proud of you here yes, on the island of Tobago and we hope that you are able to continue your good humanitarian works and that your team yeah you don't feel demotivated but you continue to find the motivation yes, to, even in the midst of the challenges yes, yes, yes. Uh, is there anything you want to say to your team while you're here on air well I just want to say congratulations again to all the hard-working people I want to say um congratulations to Tobago it was very 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 helpful to see how Tobigonians could activate so fast. Because mm -hmm. I could remember on the second trip when um, the amount of support, because everybody, like I said, when the first one was planned, a lot of people didn't know. And because of that, now when we came back, when are they going again? When are they going again? And you know, we put out the challenge and let them know that this was a very costly trip in terms of fuel for the boats to get across there. Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody was like, oh, you know, we didn't study that and whatever the case. And we set up a little drive asking for little donations or whatever kind to purchase gas and that was went off the you know in terms of how people went to the gas station paid for the gas you know mm -hmm. because we asked them to go pay and we just collect and whatever the case and it was very very good i want to say congratulations to tobago trinidad even as part of um, part of the u.s people in the u.s would have sent to assist mm -hmm. in this in this venture people from trinidad would have sent to assist in this venture i just want to say thanks to everybody and let us just keep on being our brother's keeper because we never know we have to keep praying that the saying that god is a trini <laughs> that god continue to be a trini because what would have happened to the sister islands if it has happened to us all know we would have been in a in a mess trust me that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I continue to applaud the efforts. And, uh, you know, as MacGyver said this morning, congratulations to all of us here in Tobago who came forward and put their hands to the spindle to ensure that our brothers next door uh, were able to, you know, recover to some measure. And as they continue with their works, let's see how best we can help them to get back there and, you know, put hammer to the nail and get the work done over there yes, in uh, Grenada. Thank you yes, so thank much. You. And thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, speaking with Mr. Lincoln Stewart, known to us as MacGyver, who took his team over there to Karakou um, in July when they experienced the effects of Hurricane Beryl.